Would you like to learn how to send and receive Bitcoin Lightning Network tips using your own page or via Twitter? Today we're going to be taking a look at Tippin.me, a website that allows you to do exactly that with only a couple minutes of setup. I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions and this is your Daily Session. Hey everyone, I'm here in Kensington, Calgary, and yes, today we are checking out Tippin.me, an easy website that allows you to set up your own link to receive Lightning Network tips. Now, before we dive into the video, I'd just like to remind you to check out my website, btcsessions.ca. There you can reach out to me directly at the bottom of this page. There is a contact form, and you are welcome to set up your own BTC session with me to learn about Bitcoin, wallets, proper security, anything you like. Also, be sure to head over to my Teespring link down below and you can grab some BTC sessions swag there. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are on the tippin.me website and it is super easy to get going with this. Right off the bat, all you need to do is hit join now and it's gonna take you to this page where it says sign up with Twitter. Now, I have already signed up, so I'm gonna go back a step and I'm gonna go log in because it essentially looks exactly the same. So you're gonna hit log in, log in with Twitter, and then it's going to ask if you authorize this app to interact with your Twitter uh, account. So you're gonna go ahead and hit authorize and it's gonna redirect you back to your tippin.me dashboard. So we're gonna take a look at what is on the dashboard here. So first off, you have a balance. If you're just signing up, this will say zero, but this is in Satoshis, the smallest value of Bitcoin that you can have. Although that's not entirely accurate. You can have less than a Satoshi, but um, for all intents and purposes, we're gonna to refer to Satoshis as the lowest possible value right now. There are 100 million Satoshis in a Bitcoin. It also gives you a dollar value. This is in US dollars just down below. And down below here, you can see transactions that have come in and any withdrawals that you have made. So you can see uh, the number of Satoshis here. Uh, you can see the date. And if somebody decided to leave a message, they will be right here. And I've got some great messages in here. Pretty funny stuff. Um, but you can also see the withdrawals here over. It's a cash out when I take my Satoshis off of Tippin.me into a wallet that I own myself. Now, there are a few other things over down on the side here. So we'll get into the browser extension in a moment, uh, but first we're gonna go to your Tippin page. And so this is where somebody can tip you. So you can share this link. It would be tippin.me slash at your Twitter handle. Uh, there's a QR code that somebody can scan and send to. Um, you can copy a request. So uh, you can copy the lightning invoice here if somebody needs to paste it into a, a wallet on their desktop. And also there's some links down below where you can take a look at getting started with the lightning network if you've never used it before. Uh, so besides that, we're gonna go back and see what else there is. Uh, you can set up a web button for your website. You, so you would just copy this text and paste it into whatever uh, place you're putting your website. Uh, if you're using the back end of something like WordPress, this is all you would paste and it would look like this little button on your website so somebody can tip you. Uh, other than that, you can of course tip the team here at uh, at tippin.me if you enjoy what they're doing and you can log out down below. So finally, we're going to take a look at the browser extension, how to add it in. So it gives you a, a little run through of how it works on Twitter itself, but basically we're going to download the browser extension for Google Chrome. Now I have Google Chrome open in another window, but they do have a link uh, right here, but we'll just click on the link to see what it is. It takes you directly to this, which is an extension. So all these are extensions, little add-ons for your browser. They have one for Chrome and one for Firefox. So you're gonna have to be on one of these browsers. And all you do here for Chrome is you hit add to Chrome and add extension. 
and this is going to do something to your Twitter feed so that you can tip directly. Okay, so we now have everything set up. Okay, we've we've set up everything. You're signed up for Tippin.me. You have the browser extension so that you can see it in Twitter itself. Now we're just going to practice and see what it looks like to both send and receive and cash out your tips. Now, what you will need for this, other than uh, your Tippin.me account, is you're going to need a Lightning wallet. Now, I've done videos on a variety of different Lightning wallets that are available right now. However, I'm gonna be using one in particular for this video. It is a custodial wallet, and we'll dive into that momentarily, but it is probably your easiest and most direct route to get using this right away. I would just, uh, and I'll re reiterate this at the end, I would just caution that you only play around with a couple dollars on this because it is custodial. And I will explain more about that in the end. But for now, I'm gonna navigate to my tip and page so that I have my QR code up on the screen. Okay, so the wallet I'm gonna be using on my phone is called Wallet of Satoshi. I do have a video for this one, so I'm going to add that in the cards right here, and I'm also gonna add it in links down below. I've done other videos on things like Blue Wallet and the CASA node, and I will touch on those in the comments down below. You will see links to those as well, but for today, we are using Wallet of Satoshi. I'm not gonna to dive too much into an explanation of how this works, other than what we're trying to do right here, which is send a tip. So I'm here on my main screen. All I need to do to send a tip is I'm gonna hit scan to pay. So I'm gonna hit scan to pay, and you can see I've got my browser up. I scan that, and then I'm gonna enter the number of Satoshis I'd like to send. So I'm gonna send 100 Satoshis, which is less than a penny, okay? So very tiny amount. I'm gonna hit done, and I'm gonna hit pay and that is going to send off it should be there we go payment sent so that is sent it should be received in my wallet already now when you're on the tippin.me page you actually need to hit check payment all right it will refresh the window it says got it and this is where you can leave a message if you're the one sending the tip so you're going to hit leave a message and then i'm going to write etc sessions as dumb hair and I'm gonna hit send message <laughs> so then when me as an individual that's receiving a tip goes to my tipping page I can see BTC sessions has dumb hair is in the <laughs> the notes of the actual tip and I can see 100 satoshis have been received perfect now how do I go about cashing out so this is a little bit different. So we're going to be looking at the actual uh, app here, as Wallet of Satoshi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the top up button in the top left corner, and I'm going to request a specific amount. So I'm going to hit Receive Lightning, Show Address, and I'm going to hit Add Custom Amount. Now I've got about 79,000 Satoshi, so I'm going to withdraw 70,000 Satoshi. So I'm going to type seven zero. One, two, three. So that's about $4. And I'm gonna generate an invoice. Okay, perfect, so I have a QR code here. Now, what I need to do is I need to scan this QR code. Now, Tippin.me itself, I don't believe has a uh, actual scanner. So unfortunately, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go to an external site, and this external site, I'm just gonna use webqr.com. And this will just bring up my webcam, so you'll see me here in a moment. There we go, hey! And I'm just gonna scan that. Oh, I'm gonna scan that, and it gives me this long string. I'm going to highlight and copy this, and I'll say goodbye from here. And I'm gonna go back to Wallet of Satoshi, or sorry, not Wallet of Satoshi, Tippin.me, and I've hit cash out, and I'm just gonna paste in what I copied, I'm going to hit cash out, and it's going to send, and once it gets sent, I, oh, there we go, right away, I get a notification on my phone, payment received, and I can see that my balance has been topped up. If I swipe up, I can see there's my 70,000 Satoshis coming in right there, and it will do this little countdown thing. It's 
a little long winded when it actually counts down like that. If you don't like that, you can just hit refresh and it'll show your balance. You don't have to watch it count down all the way through that number. Now, we have installed something else. Remember we did that uh, tippin.me extension. So what does that look like in Twitter? So we'll just go over to our other tab here. We're gonna go directly to Twitter. And here's what it looks like. Normally, you would see your reply, your retweet, your like, your direct message. Well, now you've got this extra little lightning bolt here, and that is to tip somebody. So there's there's Crypto Bobby. And this brings up, I'm popped up in my other screen here, but it brings up Crypto Bobby's tippin.me. Now, this person will have to have tippin.me in order to bring up this window. I'll show you what happens if it doesn't. So hell, I'm going to send Crypto Bobby a tip. So I'm going to go, I'm going to hit on Wallace Satoshi, scan to pay. There, I scanned it. I'm going to send him, let's see, uh, let's do 50 cents, 10,000 Satoshi. There you go, Crypto Bobby. Okay, I'm going to hit Pay. All right. Da, 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 da. Payment sent. And now I can hit check payment. Did he get it? He got it. Awesome. Now, I wasn't able to write a message. Really, I should have gone to his tippin.me page because I could have written something stupid on it. But hey, he's in my demo video. So, Crypto Bobby, there's 50 cents. Um, anyways, that is sending a tip on tippin.me and this fun little animation when you get it done. Um, now let's just find somebody that doesn't have tippin.me, uh, non-crypto people, hey, a promoted tweet, I guarantee they don't have one. Okay, so I hit this and it brings up this. This user doesn't exist, so no dice. Um, now you can, I believe I've seen before, no, oh, no, they have one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to find somebody who doesn't. There we go. Okay. So this is what I was looking for. So I hit Sasha from, uh, she's from uh, Changely and she doesn't have a Tibbin account. Ask them to join. Okay. And what it does is it constructs a, a tweet. I was about to tip you, but you don't have Tibbin.me account yet. Um, and so it will let her know to check out tippin.me to get an account. And I'm going to do that. Um, so maybe I'll just write an extra little something. Just making a demo video. You're now featured. So what I'm hoping is by the time this video goes up, Sasha will have seen this, gotten a tip and me account, and then my viewers can go and send her some Satoshis because Sasha, what are you doing? Get, get some tipping. All right. Anyways, so I'm going to hit reply there. Great. That is sent off. And hopefully she sees that and adds a tip and me account. Uh, but guys, that's, that's basically it. So the setup itself is essentially nothing. Um, Wallet of Satoshi, I will again link in the comments, or sorry, in the description of the video down below, but that is it. You will be set up in a couple minutes and you can start playing around with Satoshis on Twitter and wherever else you would like to have them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and of course, given the topic of the video, be sure to drop a tip at my tippin.me page. I'll see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions. I wanna be with you, baby. Even if I can't start.